Hi, so let's discuss what the solo growth model actually predicts about growth rates uh, per capita and in aggregate levels. So something that we know and we've used a lot and I derived in a previous video is this equation that output per capita is a function of capital per capita and with the assumptions about production functions and so on uh, that is equal to this. Uh, if we use our growth rate rules, uh, which I will cover in another video, so if you don't know growth rate rules, um, you know, make sure to look for that video. Uh, this says that if so, if we use this form of the equation, alpha, our growth rate rules say that the growth rate of this y variable is equal to the growth rate of our a variable plus alpha times the growth rate of our capital per capita. Uh, so that's just coming directly from the equation above using our growth rate rules. But from the assumptions that we've made, we have assumed that this is constant. This productivity parameter is actually a bar and not a, so that is zero. And in steady state, our capital per capita is also constant. Uh, so in steady state, capital per capita is zero. Uh, these two terms are zero, which means that our output per capita growth is zero also. So assuming productivity is constant, in steady state, we have no long run economic growth in the solo model. Now, this does assume that labor supply is also fixed as well as productivity growth. Um, but if we make these assumptions, there is no long run growth in output per capita. So in steady state growth stops and we now have constant uh, Y, we have constant K and we have constant uh, per capita values for these. So output capital, uh, output per capita and capital per capita are all constant in the steady state according to the solo model. However, this is not shown in the data. What we see in the data is that economies do grow in the long run and in the short run and so uh, that is a weakness of this part of the model and the assumptions we've made so it shows that what we've done here is a bit unrealistic. Um, what, so what Solo says is the capital accumulation is not an engine of long run growth and this shows that. With just capital accumulation we have constant all of these are constant. So we'll have to change something if we want to meet the data we see in reality in order to get long run growth. But what we know from this is that it doesn't come from capital accumulation. So in the previous video, we derived these results. So if you didn't, if you don't know how to derive these, check out that video. This basically just shows the actual steady state levels of per capita capital and per capita output. Now we can also write these in aggregate terms which will be given by capital letters and it is just the same again but we are multiplying by the labor force in order to get um, per capita values so for capital per capita we get that and for output per capita we would write it like this so it's just the same as the per capita value but we multiply by our L bar fixed labor supply so if so these are the steady state values as we've drawn a star to show that and this says that the long run output in the Economy depends on our parameter A, our savings rate S, our depreciation rate sigma, and our labor, uh, our labor force, and also on our parameter alpha, which is the labor share of income. So if we change any of these parameters, we change the long run output or we change the steady state of the economy. If any of these parameters change, we are going to get a different value of k star and we're going to get a different value of the per capita version of this as well. 
Um, so what, what does this mean in reality? Well, if we think the depreciation rate is, there's not much that we can do to change that. Um, the, or at least we assume that in the model that it's just exogenously given. We assume all of these are exogenously given. But the way we think about the solar model, we tend to think that the only thing the government can really impact uh, at this stage is the savings rate. It, the government can try and change how much people in the economy change. And in the future, we're going to be endogenizing the productivity parameter as well, A. But here we've assumed that that's fixed. But yeah, the long run output is given by these variables and it is of this form in this basic solo model. And we can change the steady state by changing these parameters. So that should be just about it for this video. Make sure to subscribe for future videos and to check out the playlist on the solo growth model uh, where we will be covering in the next video what will happen if we change these parameters. Uh, so for starters, an increase in the depreciation rate, what impact will that have on uh, the model parameters in steady state?